This is how we do it. Our hands are in the air. So we raise it from home to hold to there. From here to there. Whether you're an OG Mac or a wannabe player. Hey guys, it's Bunnies and welcome back to a, another video. Today I am here to bring you a video on shapewear. Yay! I don't know. Uh, this is my first time ever trying shapewear or wearing shapewear. We are going to be trying and reviewing Kim Kardashian's shapewear called Skims. And her line was huge. Like there were so many things that she launched at the exact same times. Bras, underwear, shapewear. And I was like, oh, I'll definitely be able to get some of this stuff. And you guys, I literally got nothing in my color and I only got three things. <laughs> Every color that I tried to get that I thought would be like my tone was sold out within like it felt like minutes for me and also my size. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you do, hit that sub with your buddy paw. If you guys ever want to see my face again, if you don't, that's totally okay. So what really got me super even interested in skims because I've never tried shapewear, you guys, and I've honestly never been super interested into shapewear. Um, I don't know, I, I always kind of felt like there was this like stigma around it where it's like gonna be uncomfortable or it's just gonna be obvious that you're wearing it kind of thing. Like, when I thought of shapewear, I would literally think of like either the booty things from like Fashion Nova or like the ones that were like more like grandma e shapewear and I was like nah I'm okay you know I'll just try to suck in but I actually seen Kim uh story time somebody else's story time talking about a bandeau bra that is actually in here so I got the bandeau bra um more that's actually what sparked even my interest originally to even get this so when you open it up Boom, it says skims on the inside. So I got the bandeau bra in oxide in an extra small. I got the sheer sculpt bodysuit in onyx in an extra small. And I got, wait, I got four things? I got four things, oh. And then I got the triangle bra in clay in an extra small. And the scoop neck bra in sienna in extra small. So these are more of the bras that I was really, really interested in. All of, all of the shapewear that I tried to get though, you guys were literally sold out. The only one that I could get was the sheer sculpt bodysuit in onyx. So everything's basically like wrapped in this. So this is just like a little cover or like little thing that they used. I'm sorry, I ripped your hoo-ha. Now this is the bandeau bra. So this is what I was telling you guys that I was super, super interested in. Um, I have, I am petite overall, but I also have big boobs for my size, which are really annoying. Honestly, I don't like having big boobs. But, you know, this summer was actually my, like, summer that I started wearing tube tops and less bras. I've never really been uh, comfortable enough to not wear a bra because, again, I am, I do have a pretty big chest, at least for me. Like, I've never had a strapless bra that I felt comfortable with. I saw that Kim, um shared a story from a girl who was actually, I think she was like a size E, and she was talking about the bandeau top and how it was super supportive for her and it stayed up and it worked really, really well for her. Now this bra was $20. I am gonna try it on and show you guys and also try it on, I think with like a tube top and see what we think about it, see if this covers the whole thing. Again, I did get an extra small because the way the sizing works is actually not cup size. So it's more like how many inches you are. So I'm 32 inches around my chest. So they recommended on their size chart an extra small. So we got this color. All right, guys, now we have the bandeau bra top on. So it's really weird. It's like, I feel like it cuts in too much, but at the same time, I definitely couldn't size up in this because I have a lot of give here. So it's really weird. Like if you guys can notice, like right here in person. Okay, so like if I'm relaxed, I have this like weird like chest fat. <laughs> just like chill in there so I don't really know how I feel about that I don't like it honestly um the bandeau definitely feels like this is here like this is here to stay this is not sliding down like this is I'm on your body and we are here to not play but at the same time I just think that that looks really kind of weird like from the front I feel like it looks 
I don't know. It looks like I have like four boobs kind of. This is what it looks like from the side. I will put a strapless shirt on though to show you guys. All right, so here it is with this shirt on. This is actually a shirt I haven't really been able to wear too much. Well, I usually wear it with like a regular bra and I'm just kind of like throw my hair in front of everything so that everything's not like on show. But here I am with the bandeau bra and I feel like it's not as bad showing with this versus when I was just in the bandeau. I actually feel super, super secure in this bandeau top though. Like this is for sure does not feel like it's going anywhere. This feels like it is here to stay. I think the bandeau feels so secure that the shirt now feels really like loose, if that makes sense. It's really weird. Then we got the scoop neck bra in Sienna and in an extra small. This was $32. And originally, I wasn't really like thinking too much about getting it. I was like, eh, I don't know if I really need this. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot and try it because I don't really have any bras that are like this. That This doesn't have like any padding in it. Neither does the uh, bandeau bra. There's no padding. It's just like, it literally feels like really super thick nylons. Like I'm actually wearing stockings right now and it feels like, really thick like if anyone's ever done like dancing or ballet or anything like that it literally feels or it reminds me of like the stockings that you wear like in ballet kind of um maybe a little bit thicker but super super similar it's like literally what this feels like the straps are adjustable which is obviously really good this part though is not adjustable so if it doesn't fit you well then it doesn't fit you <laughs> now i feel like this is probably going to be like the closest color to my skin that i got so hopefully it is and again it feels really nice so i threw on this shirt because it was a little bit more of like a scoop low cut shirt that i had it's actually a bedtime shirt but um yeah i actually really like this bra this is definitely a bra that like i would wear probably like every day this feels like i am almost not wearing a bra it is a little bit like my boobs don't properly fit how i don't think it should fit or how i think it should fit i think my boobs are definitely a little bit too big i'm just an awkward size this happens in my active wear videos all the time with sports bras it's really really frustrating it's like i need a little bit of a bigger size but it's like if i get the next size up it's gonna be way too big so i'm just that like awkward a little bit too big for this but way 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 too small for the next size up so anyways it is still super super comfortable i really like it literally feels like i'm wearing tights or nylons but put it on my boobs <laughs> the next thing i got is the triangle bralette in calais same price as the scoop neck they're 32 dollars. and again the straps are adjustable but the chest is not adjustable and it feels the same there's no padding or anything like that i am usually really weary of triangle bikini tops and triangle bras because i feel like i never fit them properly i feel like they either push me to like a uniboob or somewhere in them i'm popping out so hopefully this fits pretty well it looks kind of small but I think the cups look okay. I think just the shoulder straps look really small. I might have to adjust those. All right guys, so with the triangle top, I have so many mixed feelings about it right now because it's comfortable, it feels really good, but like I told you guys, me being weary of triangle bikini top, same thing kind of happened with this bra. What happens is this fits, but I get this like weird, like right here it digs in where the bra stops and then i'm like boofed out of the bra so it's like i'm kind of bursting out of the bra so i get this like weird hump in my boobs i don't know if you guys can really tell in this top i don't know if you guys can see oh you can kind of see it right here see how it kind of like indents in my boob right here that's because the bra ends right there and then like my boobs are popping out so that's one thing that i don't like I don't like my boobs to do that because it looks really funny, especially if you're wearing like lighter colored clothes. Like if I was wearing like a pink top or something like this, you would be able to see that so much more vividly than in a black top. And last but certainly not least, we got the Sheer Sculpt bodysuit in Onyx. And this was so expensive. Again, you guys, I've never bought shapewear, so I don't really know how expensive this was for shapewear, but this was $65. Six, 65? 60, 65, 60, $68, correction. And I got it in an extra small. Again, I did get it in Onyx, which is this black color. And these are like these bicycle shorts. I originally wanted the non-sheer one, the non-mesh one, but uh, this was the only one that they had left. So I was like, okay, we'll see if this actually like pulls anything in, cinches anything, 
you know what i'm actually looking for with this more than anything is like if you go out and you're wearing a tight dress and you eat how is this gonna look because i ate and i'm interested to see how this is gonna hold my stomach in or if it's gonna do anything because honestly this i don't know it looks I honestly feel like I could have maybe gotten a smaller size, but it doesn't feel super stretchy at the same time. So I'm not sure actually like how this is gonna work. All right guys, so I have you guys a little bit further back now. And I'm gonna tell you guys, putting on this bodysuit, I don't know if you guys can see, it's so hard to get on like your hips. Um, but it's actually a little bit, it feels a little bit too big for me. Um, it feels too, it felt too small. It feels too small on my hips but it feels too big everywhere else, if that makes any sense. It feels okay on like my stomach area. It doesn't really feel like it's, you know, I, I just kind of feel like I'm wearing like an extra layer, if that makes sense. This is li the, literally the tightest dress I have, which is why I brought this dress out to you guys. This is like a sweater dress, so this dress, if you have below or anything like that, it is not forgiving, I will tell you guys that. Also, one thing I did notice as well is my butt, like underneath my butt right here, there is this like, like straight up like line in my butt <laughs> that it just goes it goes like my butt and then it's like this line that cuts off it's so weird um i definitely don't like it at all and i definitely feel like it kind of pulls me in in my like waist area i do feel like i look more curvy like for my hips to waist which i do like that again i don't really feel like it does too much with my stomach uh which is more of like that's kind of where i get insecure at because if i'm bloated i'm not i'm trying to be like this you know what i mean um but even when i suck in i don't feel like it really like gets rid of my little bump right there but now let me show you guys what i was talking about with the leg there's like this little line do you guys see this line i feel like you can kind of see it right here my butt is up here by the way and i have this like little fat that's just right underneath my butt it's really weird um, but it's like right where my fat kind of is too. It's like I just get this cut in my in my like leg Which is so weird looking. I don't know if you guys can really see it But I promise you guys it is actually there and it is like cut now Let me show you guys this dress with no shapewear on one last shapewear glimpse This is us with the shapewear. Again, I do feel like it accentuates my waist uh, quite a bit from the front angle. From the side angle, I don't really feel like it does too much for me. Now here we are with no shapewear. And I can tell you guys, I think my waist is a little less like cinched in. Um, and I do feel like it kind of got rid of like my little hip dip right here. Uh, this hip dip is worse than this one. I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, um, I do feel like it kind of got rid of that hip dip a little bit. But from the side, I feel like I actually look better without the shapewear. And I look slimmer without the shapewear. Which is really weird to me <laughs> that I look... I feel like I look better without the shapewear from the side. Um, I could be wrong. But here's me putting my stomach all the way out. Like literally I'm pushing. And here's me sucking it in. And I feel like I look slimmer without the shapewear. So, I don't know. I feel like from the front, now it's the opposite. I feel like from the front, I don't look quite as, like, snatched. But I feel like from the side, I definitely look a more slim. Which is so weird. I don't know. Alright, you guys. So, we are back after trying everything on. Let's start off with the bras. When I went to change into my normal clothes, I was like, I'm just going to keep this bra on <laughs> because it's so comfortable and I really, really like it. So I am 100% loving this scoop neck bra. It is super, super comfy. So this is a really good bra. I really, really like it. Uh, I would definitely get more of this bra. Like I'm going to wear this to death and then when it dies, I'm going to get another bra. Hopefully they still have it. <laughs> so the scoop neck bra for me is a thumbs up. I really, really like it. It's definitely my favorite piece of what we tried on today. My second favorite is going to be the bandeau top bra, bandeau bra, uh, which I know I kind of had some mixed feelings about it when I put it on because I felt like it made my boobs, like I felt like it kind of cut my boobs off a little bit and then made like my fat chest fat that was like left over kind of more prominent which i don't like about at all but how well this fit me and stayed up and was not sliding down or didn't feel like it was sliding down is honestly the best thing ever it's like a new peace of mind for my boobs <laughs> like i feel like i could wear this out and be so confident and secure 
where I'm not like constantly having to pull up my bra or feel uncomfortable. So again, this isn't a structured bra or anything like that, but if you're wearing like two tops or, you know, like a strapless dress or, or anything like that, I feel like this would still really be good. And I'll definitely be keeping it for those occasions. If you have big boobs and it's hard for you to find a bra, a strapless bra that fits good and that doesn't constantly feel like it's falling down, this, this is, I've never in my life worn a strapless bra and felt like I didn't have to pull it up, ever. Now the triangle bra, I am not in love with. Um, I think that if you have, I don't know, I don't wanna say if you have small boobs you'll like it, cause even I think probably if you have big boobs you'll like it, but my boobs, <laughs> I think if you're small, I don't know. I honestly, this just fit me really weird. I don't really like it. So I feel like it made, it cut into my boob and then I had like this spillage out of the rest. So I don't really like that because of it. It is super, super comfortable. And if you are looking for something that is like a triangle where you have like a triangle top, then you know, this might be something that you're super interested in. Now let's talk about the shapewear. <laughs> okay, my first impression of shapewear is this shit's uncomfortable. And again, this isn't necessarily this shapewear. This just might be shapewear. I've never tried it before but I felt like I was wearing two of the exact same dress basically and I actually felt like this made me look like thicker and I don't know, it's really weird, but I don't really think this is worth the money for me except my stomach, which I showed you guys and I felt like this didn't really do anything for that profile view. Me, when I'm self-conscious about like in a dress, it's usually my side view of my stomach. Like if I eat, I feel like, oh, like can you see my little like poochie coming out a little bit? But this didn't do anything for that. So because of that, I'm kind of like, mm, I don't really care. You know what I mean? Uh, for my butt though, it's really strange. I noticed that my butt looked bigger without the shapewear than with the shapewear, which makes sense because, you know, it's kind of smoothing everything and kind of bringing everything in. So if you have, you know, a big booty and that's what you're looking for, then the shapewear might kind of compress it where it doesn't look as big, if that makes sense. I don't know, at least mine, I felt like my butt looked bigger without the shapewear. And my stomach also looked flatter without the shapewear. Now from a front angle, my waist looked super, super small. And I was like, where is your waist at? That I was for. But honestly, I don't think this is really worth it for me. I don't really like it that much. So that's just my opinion on it. If you guys really love this or you're really looking for some shapewear, then you might really like it. But for me, again, I didn't really feel like it was worth the $70 that it was. Like... I like the bras way more. So if you guys take anything from this or you guys are looking into skims, I would say the bras are my favorite thing for sure from here. But this was just kind of like a meh for me. Like it, well, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. But it was kind of like, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that sub button with your funny paw. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.